We've spent our money, we've done our transfers, and we have games to get on with today. We want to try and progress. At the moment, it doesn't look like we're doing it that way. So today, we have got to get going. And of course, I've just got to mention, it's getting closer to Sunday. As Welcome back, guys, to episode number three of season number two here of the Schalke FIFA 22 Rebuild. Not a road to glory, it's just a rebuild. Or just a career mode, I haven't put any in the title for once. As today, we will start off by showing you the league position. You can see we're in 12th place, and if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notification bell on as well, so you do not miss any episodes to come in this series. If you haven't seen the last one, spoilers will be here, so make sure you watch that last one, and like each and every single one. Helps the algorithm out a bunch, as mine's a rock bottom after three games, still got a game to play. Holstein, Kiel and Bochum in that bottom couple. We have got three points, just one win. And then a couple of defeats as goal differences. Not looking healthy. It's the worst in the league because that is mostly down to Derby Day. You can see who's top of the league. They got a really good win against us. The less said about that, the better. Stuttgart the same. As today we jump into some feisty fixtures. We have an away game against Leipzig. A home game against Augsburg, then Hoffenheim, Bochum, Hertha. And you can see right there, Borussia Dortmund in the cup. But I don't think we're going to get onto that one. We won't play the Borussia games. I think we'll play Hertha. We played Bochum twice last time in the league. We will play um, Hoffenheim instead. And we'll play Leipzig. We haven't played Leipzig yet, I don't think. We'll simulate Augsburg and Bochum. Then we'll leave the rest for next episode as... We've just got to get some results today. We've got to keep progressing. We've dropped to 14th as mine's actually got a win to take them off bottom spot. That's not great. And with the team we have, should be doing slightly better. And speaking of better, we've got two players that are better than most in this squad. But still, none of them got any interest in January. And of course, they are still here. Or oh, not January, but the summer. You get what I mean. And of course, they're still here in the reserves. We've got Harit... And Rabi Matondo, who just aren't getting onto the bench as well. I don't know what to do with them. Do I give them a chance? Do I kind of let them rot a little bit? And definitely going to try and sell them if bids come in, I think. As the team is as follows for this first game. We've got Ortega in goal, the new goalkeeper. We did lose the last one, so I'll make one change. Barreto, Maxto and Palson with Tim Becker and Chanaloglu as fullbacks. Latza and Cristoforo in the middle of the park with Zalazar, with Tarod, and with Pierre Inga as the front three. Tim Becker is actually doing very well now he's back in this squad. Of course, he just got relegated to the third division in Germany before he came back off his loan, and he's fitted straight into the squad at wing backers. How will he do against Leipzig, however? <laughs> Let's see this team. We face away from home. Galatschke, Gvadiol, Orban, and someone else. Forsberg, Angelino, Sinister, and someone else. Nyaki, Olmo, and Andre Silva. It's Simakan at right mid and Canales at uh, right centre back. Got a really decent bench as well. Juan Ki Chan has returned. But some players out of position. Sinistera and Angelina was the middle two. When there's three behind them, just doesn't seem right to me. We will be putting everything into this game. We need points as Ortega Moreno, his actual full name. I'm just going to call him Ortega. His first touching game for us. Cristoforo gets a good. Swiveled pass off right there. Pierre Inga looks like the space just in front of the defence. That's a brilliant pass from Tarode on to Tim Becker. Crosses one in towards Zalazar. Gets his head on it. Open goal. Hits Canelles on the head. And they have survived big time right there. We needed to score there, really, didn't we? As we'll do the run near post tactic. Can we get anyone making a move? Looks like it's going towards Tarode. Willie Orban away. Forsberg tried to get that down. It'll just slowly peter out here into Tim Becker. Now into Max Stowe. Not really a gap anywhere, so we'll pass this off to Latza. Through the middle. That's a good ball onto Zalazar. Across the box. Haven't won it. Sinistera with a pass forward there onto Danny Olmo. Sinistera again with it. He goes out wide into Simakan. Now Sinistera. Sinistera sitting with the ball. Victor Palson in the way of that one. 15 minutes in, they've robbed the ball off a shot from Yaki Williams. Has absolutely rattled the post and gone in. Ortega, no chance. 1-0 down to Leipzig. I don't think there's any stopping them when they're like that. It was 
I don't know who got stuck in the ball. Cristoforo, I'm pretty sure. And Nyaki, the man who signed like a nine-year contract at Bilbao. He's come to Germany and he has thwacked one in against us. Very close, but unlucky as Danny Olmo now gives this out to Simikant. They're going to look for another one. Don't let them get shots off from there as Tim Becker's across helping out the back three. Still, he shouldn't be doing that. We've got five at the back and we concede him for fun as they've skipped past us. Max Stowe had to come out of the way and we need to get that ball Sinistera with the tackle out wide or Sinistera. Yeah, it's Sinistera, isn't it? I think it's pronounced as Chanaloglu got the ball from the throw-in. He cuts inside into Lazzo. We've got the man in front of us in Pierre Inga to road. Can't get that. Not going our way. The rocket of Nyaki is really sinking as a Simakan with a deep ball in towards the back post. Forsberg jumping at it. We've managed to get the head away a little bit. And we'll pass it into Tarod. We've got Pierre Inga. What a shocking touch from him, though, as now Angelino. Gets the pass around the corner to Silva. Now in Yaki Williams again. Keepers coming out. Ortega. He's jumped and just got a touch with his toe, which enables him to recover. Brilliant save. Not the best of throw ins, but we've managed to recover from that. And we'll go forward. 10 minutes till half time. And Cristoforo will look right into Tim Becker. We'll go backwards into Salazar through the middle. Pierre Inger onto Toro. And that's not good. We're just not doing well enough as in Yaki's. Beating the defender to it. And Yaki Williams down low. Ortega with another save. To be fair, he saved everything that's possible. Just the one that's not possible is let in. As now Zalazar to road in front of us. Salazar's just cut inside. And that's a good ball, actually, through to the Dutchman. He's still got Joska Vareol to beat. But he passes it across. Pierre Inger drills it at Galaski. At least we're still able to create chances. As Zalazar again to road. Making a road forward for himself. And shot down low. Easily smothered by the Hungarian, who's hungry to keep a clean sheet. 1-0 down at the break. Danny Olmo over the top right there. Straight into Emil Forsberg, who takes it down well and does strike it very, very well. Just over the top. Survived a little bit more of a scare at the start of this second half. As that needed to go through, Channel Oglu. That pass really needed to work. And now Sinistera with the ball. They're going to attack us again. Go down this side, but Tim Becker jumps in the way. He's been... Brilliant, to be fair, as the right-back. And we'll try and head that back. Pierre Inger down to Christoffo, who shouldn't be doing the running on this side, however. Becker still... I know you do your defensive duties, but do your attacking as well. You're a wing-back as Christoforo with a bit of a gap. He'll put one across. That's a brilliant ball! And Salazar's hit the side netting. He could not afford to miss. Or from him, and that is a big chance gone. Barreto coming out of his line to win the header. Still doing okay at the back. We're keeping hold as Tarod... Looks to find Chanaloglu, chip that across, looking for the man at the back post. Shoska Vardiol has been, what is it, sensational? Exceptional? Tried to combi uh, combine the words, as that should be a corner, but no. Kalashki clutches, and that was catch and clutch put together. So I'm going to try and get Junior Adamu on. He's actually been scouted by West Ham United in real life. Uh, a keen eye kept on him from them, and I think Rangers or Southampton or someone, I think. Uh, so we're going to get him and Antonio Sanchez on for the attacking threat. We need it as Cristoforo has just dribbled round and he scored. What a piece against Leipzig. It's just easy. He's just gone straight through the middle. The defensive midfielder, the slow coach with a goal. Good finish as well. Everyone thought he was going to pass it. He took it on himself. He ran round the defence and he's put it into the side netting. Get in there, the Uruguayan beast. As Bozdagon is going to come on as well. I think that's how you say it for Zalazar. You can see he's tiring. Shoddy pass and Leipzig to attack us again. They've got the threat up front. Sinistera chipping it over to Nyaki. We need to get that one. Cristoforo does. Straight onto Adamu. An ex uh, Red Bull player himself, of course, with Salzburg. And that's terrible dribbling. Straight into Huang Hee Chan. And Yaki Williams on to Andre Silva. Danny Olmo looks like he was going to shoot. Silva does. And he hits the roof of the net. It's all come from Junior Adamu's just crap ball retention. And 2-1 down. Good finish from the Leipzig forward. Not great for us. It looks like another defeat. Not great at all as Cristoforo into Boz. Good, uh, Bo I can't say it, Boz Dogan, Boz Dogan, we're going to call him, just because it's easier as Anyaki Williams, I think that change has gone through, we've got the new Cam onto the field as Williams goes forward, we're still alive a little bit, Angelino 
Across to Silva, haven't got there. Danny Olmo feeds it into Simican, who somehow got there. Good save, Ortega. Falls straight back to Sinistera, though, who sends it wide. And Ortega sending everyone forward as we don't have long. Sabosgloy has come on for them as Adama win that header, please. It's actually a very good win. Pierre Inga, he needs to step into games a bit more as a striker, who's high rated. Gives it to Bosgodan. Now out to Chanaloglu. Can we get there at the back post? Pierre Inga! Saved from Galashki. Keep it alive, please. He does, but the referee's blown his whistle. A huge chance at the death to take a point. But we take nothing from the game. Leipzig beat us in their own backyard. Find it hard to motivate the boys a little bit now. As you can see what position we're in the league. We play Hoffenheim and Bochum today as well. As we've got Tony Schwartz recovering a little bit. Still looking at some of the players because... I don't know if I'm fully satisfied with the squad, even with the transfers we made. I think a reshuffle is needed after that last game. As Max Stowe coming to talk to me, he has been stripped of his captaincy, I must say. We're giving it to Victor Palson now. As I'll say, thanks for letting me know. We've got more scout reports. I'm just deleting him at the moment. Even though I think the squad is far from finished, I need to focus on the players that are here at the moment because we've finished with the transfers as Herman. Is not going to go up a rating with his position change. A little bit disappointing, but hopefully the game that we play now isn't. As you can see, the changes that I made. We've got Bootler starting up front with Terode. Sanchez is in. Lerd's in, because the only game we've won was with him in it. And uh, Delgado steps into midfield for Latza, because he's tired. And on the bench, I'm going to just do it. They're here, aren't they? So let's give him the benefit of the doubt slightly. Rabi Matondo, and I think it's like... Harim Harit, I don't know his first name, apologies if that's way off, but Harit, both of them on the bench, waiting for a little bit of game time, Augsburg is one of the games I said I'd play, isn't it? No it isn't, is it? No it isn't, it's actually the one I'm going to simulate, Ninth position, please, we could fall into the relegation places if we don't win, we get a win though, oh we do, Cagliari missed the penalty to start off with, Turode, Adokai, and to road with the brace. I don't know what it is with him, but we just play better with Lerd in the back line, even though he's not the greatest of players. His stats are okay, actually, but I didn't think we'd have he'd have the impact that he has just then. So how long of a rest we've got? We've just got a week till Hoffenheim. Then we've got a bit between uh, Hoffenheim and Bochum, and then Hertha Berlin. All the... Well, literally including ourselves, everyone in blue and white. Blue and white army. Blue White Army, as we're going to get started. I think that's what the Huddersfield fans sing. A lot of messages right here, but I'm only going to read one at the moment. That is Marvin Pierre and get asking for game time. It's a team game, I'm going to say. He's slightly dropped out. He does have the uh, rotational actual squad role, as these are in 17th. Hoffenheim have not done well at all, as we was almost there. If we didn't win, we would have been there in their position. That's something that will motivate them. We need a win to go level with Mines now, who have played their game in hand. Who were rock bottom at the start, so it shows you it can change. As I'd love to be up there near the top, but one step at a time. Hoffenheim away. And let's see the hosts that we have. Bauman, Me, Ward, Prowse, Saliba, Vox and Krabberek. The Ritz, Adam Raum, Klaus and Bibu is up front. It's a similar team to last season. Look like they've lost some though, and a very strong Premier League defence. Three of those. Being Premier League ex players. It's ourselves away in this one as Bootler starts off with. That's a terrible touch. What a horrific touch to start the game as now Chanaloglu will just hook that back straight into Lerd. Put it down the line into Antonio Sanchez who will cut inside a little bit. Can we start off very bright? We don't there. Tackled. As it's in fact our 50th game in charge. Of Schalke, as that's a good ball inside. Klaus took out a little bit. Ritz to keep it though. Klaus into Raum. Get a block in. It's Ortega with a save. Not cleared by Victor Palsen. Handball in there, surely. And yes, it was another great save from the keeper, but gifted the handball. Eventually, as now we've got the ball ourselves. Cristoforo into Zalazar. Now onto Tarot. He keeps it away from his man. He'll put that through. That's a great run round the side. Antonio Sanchez. He has the ball. Can he hook it to the edge of the box? We've got Zalazar running through. Saved by Bauman. Unlucky there as it's actually Tyler Adams in midfield as well for Hoffenheim. I can't believe they've signed him from Leipzig as not a great turn from us right there. Klaus back heel through to Ben Mee all the way from left wing back. 
Don't understand that change as Cristoforo drops that back into Sanchez. Bit of a risky one, but we've kept it. Sanchez gets it back. Can we switch that across out of the danger zone? We do. Bootler. It's gone past as man in the middle right here in Delgado, but he'll recover that through the gap. Bootler. He's got Chanaloglu around him. Can we get runners in the middle? Hakan. Tackled in the end. B-boot with the ball out to Ben Mee right here as he skipped past us a little bit. Ball in the box. Klaus. Ortega. What a save from our goalkeeper right there. Corner ball will be delivered into the box, however. And Ward Prowse is the one to do it. Bibu tries to get it round us. We need to win that header. Vocht wide. Almost half time. It's the same message from each game this season, really. We need to start scoring goals. As Chanaloglu, though, to whip one into Taro at the edge of the first, or the edge of the six yard box at the end of the first half. Nil, nil with Hoffenheim. No changes to be made from me at the break. I just think it's pretty even. As a run down the wing here from their right wing back. I think it's like Kadabarek or something. Or Kadabarek. He gives it to the edge into Tyler Adams. Delgado with a block. Straight onto Bootler here. Who just nudges past his man a little bit. Hits it straight at Vokt. Will get the free kick. Pass it forward. Delgado. Zalazar. Into Tarod, we'll try and turn in the middle, and that's a good ball. Fizzed out wide into Chanaloglu, tried to get it round, handled by their man, but we'll keep hold of it. In towards the gap at the edge, just no one there. And yes, let's see how Harit can do off this bench, as Ritz from the edge of the box. Oh, Tega with a save. Hoffenheim pushing just after the hour mark right here. Corner ball to be delivered, as it's going to land towards them. Palsen didn't get it fully away, Bebu. We've just tried to put a tackle in. Saliba on the turn. He saved it again. And Rabi Matondo is the next change we'll be making as Max Stowe got a tackle in. Good on you as Cristoforo through that gap. On to Simon Terode. Waiting for options forward. We'll turn. We'll play that. Antonio Sanchez. Good ball into Bootler as he will be staying on the field. It's Terode who's going to come off. Bootler to put that across. Waiting for a man. Keeper missed it. And we missed it with the header. It was Harit. What a chance for us as Palsen. Cristoforo. Delgado. Keeping hold of that. He's got it round to Simon Terode. Not long to go. He's still on the field as well. And that's a brilliant ball through to Cristoforo. Can we find his wing back? We can't. But Cristoforo's feet almost put it in the path for him again. Clearance from Bauman. Oh, and there's a foul given in there somewhere for a little clip that we had on one of their players. As it looks like a nil-nil with Hoffenheim. Not the greatest of results. Header one, straight toward Prowse and Ritz. Onto Larin. Now Bibu. He's passed the ball actually very well through to their wing back. Larin has got the ball. He's kind of in, but Lerd comes across to block it. At least it'll be a clean sheet as it is. Nil nil with Hoffenheim. Still, we should have probably won that game. That Harit chance with the open net. Is he really Harit in the head for missing? Try to make a joke, but it actually didn't sound too good as now we're closer to the relegation zone. Disappointed that it was left out. I have to roast take the squad, Marvin. And it's a shame we didn't win with the amount we put into that game. But Botcham up next. They are below Hoffenheim. And we've had our rest. I am gonna change the team around as well and give some other players a rest for this next one. But I feel like we should get a victory. And I have made a couple of changes. You can see Matondo up front, Becker back in. At right back there, the two that I'm going to make. Can we get a win against a struggling side as well as ourselves? As it's a 1-1 draw. Kermak with the goal. But I am pleased to see a little bit Harit on the score sheet. Still not the result we wanted. Not great as they are still five points behind us. But we are closest to the relegation zone out of the best of the rest. Or should I say worst of the rest. As we play Hertha Berlin next. I think they've actually kicked on since they're... Promotion, of course. They shouldn't have been down there in the first place. Tenth in the league. They have done well. Meyerhofer is slightly returning from injury. That's a good sign because we could do with this right back back. Sanchez not doing it at that position anymore. I don't know why. I just do not know why. As we've still got... Uh, we've got Schwartz back on the bench. That's one to mention. I'm going to put Harit in because he did score, of course. He plays Cam with Matondo up front. Zalazar having a rest. He's not done too great this season. Delgado's playing okay ahead of Latza. And I think we will go with this. Another gargantuan of a game for us as Christiansen, Borjan, Kempf, Marshall, Zivuk, Lukabakiao, and Meyer 
with Echelkamp, Serdar and Dillestrun with Kasper Dolberg up front. A very solid team for them. Even Piatek on the bench, Plattenhart, Jarstein, the keeper. Good squad. It'll be a challenging game. You can see they've kicked on when they've got promoted this season. Got the in-game stadium, of course, because they do start in the Bundesliga. They are actually still in the Bundesliga. They never got relegated. They won the second leg of their uh, playoff game in real life, but I just decided, for the fun of it, I would relegate them in this, because why not be harsh to them as Delgado straight away on the ball. That's a terrible pass into Luka Bacchiao. Now Serdar puts it straight through the middle onto Echelkamp. He's got runners in front of him. He's got a runner out wide in Dillestron. Ortega saves the chip. It was quite a lucky save as well as Tim Becker running down the line. He's put a ball straight into Rabi Matondo through the middle. onto to Cristoforo and Christiansen knocks it wide. Good strike from the midfielder who's getting forward a lot. Even taking the corners now as Ernie Meyer with the head away. Beckelkamp through the middle. Looks a bit end to end this. Meyer drops it back off into Dolberg. We've just got to stand and mark his men a little bit here. Pass back through Ortega just to dive on that one and we'll get the throwing away. But it's not a great one. Echelkamp straight into him as said, ah, we need to get that ball, we do. Becker through the middle, now Rabi Matondo out wide into Harit. Harit's going to hold this up a little bit and he's going to get it round the side into Hakan Chonologlu, one, not Hakan. I just like to call him that. Matondo taps it off to Butler and a save from Christiansen, which is a very good one still. Nil, nil. We don't want to be drawing another game as well. We need more than a point now. As Cristoforo has a man on the edge of the box in Bootler. Tries to shoot straight at bodies. And Kempf with a ball into Christiansen there at the back. Machau round the side. Luca Bacchio can't keep that one. Dillus run through the middle. That's a good ball over to Dolberg. But I think we half got rid of that one. He's against his Danish teammate, of course, in Max Stout as Matondo Drills a great ball through to Bootler right here. Cuts inside of his man in the defence and skies it completely. Just waiting on the whistle really as Harit through to Bootler though. Robbie Matondo's got a little bit of a gap. Here he is. The pel uh, pacey Welshman slipped on my words and he slipped on the ball. What an attack that could have been. But at half time. It is nil nil again. Nil nil at the Olympic Stadion. That sounds like the German alternative of the Olympic Stadium, where I will be on Sunday supporting the Mighty Mariners as Max Stowe with a read right there. Still, they've got the ball away. A little bit of a clip on him, but the referees let that go, thankfully. Dillusrun getting the ball straight back for them, though, into the middle. Eckelkamp waiting for the run, straight into Palsen. Try and come forward right here. Matondo out wide to Tim Becker. Becker tries to put it back into the middle. It's just passing that lets the team down. We know how to run. We know how to get into decent positions. And I'm pretty sure we know how to pull the trigger with shots. But, yeah, as passing as Eckelkamp finds a way through a little bit there. Ortega, come on, mate. You've got to get it. Concedes a goal kick. Does well. And a big substitution right here. Not low and for Eckelkamp. Tony Schwartz is back from the ACL injury. Of course, his potentials just rocketed down since... He's been out for seven months, but he's back on the field as Bootler tries to turn Jetson with an easy read. Leuven passes that backwards into Serdar. They've got two against two now. One against one. Lerd with a brilliant challenge. Becker through the middle onto Cristoforo here. He will drill one out wide, and that will go straight into Chanaloglu, who will come back inside a little bit himself. Now Bootler. Bootler one more. This is Tony Schwartz straight in. And he scores. You can never doubt Tony Schwartz. Lucky number 13. As that is a big goal with the downwards trajectory we're on playing at the moment. He gets a big goal. We play Dortmund next as well. We need the confidence. But we definitely need three points in the league. And he might have just got us it. Off the bench with an immediate goal. As that's a header forward. Bootler. Into Delgado. Now Cristoforo who cuts inside a little bit. Onto Rabi Matondo. That's a ball looking over the top for Bootler. Or Becker should I say. As he does get on the end of it. Kempf does well to come across. But straight into Maxto. We just look to pick up the pace once we score. It's just a common theme with every career mode. As Chanaloglu whipping one in. Looking for Matondo again. It's Hertha's chance to attack at us again. Serdan Lerd comes across. And Cristofo. With a pass away onto Bootler, not the greatest of touches. They still have a chance. Jedson, Dillestrun, Leuven, bad back heel. We don't want a draw, we want the win. Max Stowe away. Still doesn't reach Cristoforo though. Sit back a little bit more, please. Jeez. 
Everyone sit back. We need these points. It's 1-0 as it stands. Serdar knocked off it by Tim Becker. He will hit it forward. He's meant to come off for Sanchez. Has just whacked that forward. Cristoforo over the top. But we're going to get there with Matondo. Martial with not a great clearance again. As and again, bootlegs in there a bit. Jetson gets it past Cristoforo. But the final whistle goes. And away win. 1-0. Courtesy of Tony Schwartz. Get in there. Brilliant result as we go into the DFL Pokal again next um, episode. As Becker's trained to be a wing back, it doesn't increase his rating, but he's took that position to be his own. If he can come and improve defensively, he's got decent pace. And yeah, I think that might be us done today. But, however, no, we're not. With a win, I'm glad we got it because there's so many contracts. I think I've got to renew at least one or two right now. And I'm going to start with. I'm going to start with Tarode. Hear me out. Because he's getting old, I know he's not going to be the greatest. Although, I can't renew it. Maybe he's retiring. Is he going to retire? Because I had the plan of decreasing his wage anyway, because he's on a lot of money. So, it's all these above him. Victor Palson is the captain. Let's negotiate with him. Try and motivate the boys a little bit more with the morale by signing up one of our crucial players. Of course, he's crucial. He's the captain of the bloody team, Max. That's an understatement. As we'll get him on a two-year... He's 31 year old. Beautiful. I love my two year contracts. Except no release clause. And now the wage. He's going to want it a little bit high up, isn't he? Although, we only give 41 million to the 80 rated Ortega. 300 bonus. And then another bonus. Actually, I don't want to add another bonus for him. 438k. I think that's reasonable. And is. Victor Paulson, the captain, signs up for two more years. So glad he's a defender now as we still have a lot of players running out on their contracts. But a lot of players that I'm not sure upon. Victor Paulson was one I was definitely set in stone. I wanted to sign next as Dadashov asking to play in the cup. No chance, mate. We're not going to play it today anyway. But I'll remember that you're definitely not playing. I don't see him in my plans early. We're unbeaten this month as well. Unbeaten in four. Can we get two wins to end that month and then start the month with a win against Bayern and keep going with it. It's going to be a difficult challenge, but one we've got to be up for as thank you guys for watching episode three right here. And the camera's literally gone off on me. So you're just listening to my voice and seeing the screen. Look at me. I can move the screen around as the camera just pings off. Like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well. So you do not miss an episode in the future as take care. <laughs> just spamming the remote at the moment in a bit. And even though he can't see me, I'm saying peace and I'm covering the camera. Peace.